welcome back everyone looney farm guy here on another very dairy adventure here on old Bellion, or the french map as i like to call it so it's uh, raining it's october 1st um there is milk to sell because the selling of milk is at a well peak price and since i still haven't got it semi truck I bought a dolly it was about nine grand it wasn't used I don't think the I haven't seen one come up at least for quite a while anyways I bought it because I got lots of tractors but I have nothing to pull these things up so instead of trying to haul back and forth uh, a 8,000 liters at a time I bought a dolly and we will haul 30-something thousand at a time. <laughs> and yeah, so we're going to uh, sell some milk. Um, most of it is in our silo, but there's still a little bit left in one of the barns. So we'll go and grab that. And then we'll load up and sell some milk. The, um, yeah. Unfortunately, when I flattened out this area, it left quite a ridge <laughs> at the end of this, uh, at the end over here. A quite a steep drop off so it's uh, not I guess I can get out kind of that way but then it's so I just I, yeah. it's, uh, oh and that was it only a little bit like I said we can easily turn around here though uh, best price is at the cheese factory so we shall go there pay attention to where I'm going and um, other than that um, uh, while we're filling up the milk we'll look at the only other thing I have is oats to sell really uh, oh that's odd <laughs> okay And uh, do, 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 do. oats. Do, do, do. We have to wait till like December to uh, sell oats. Pretty much thirty-two thousand liters. Well, it's a little better than eight thousand at a time. Not the fastest mode of transportation but definitely cheaper than spending a hundred grand on a truck and I'm going to just um, they won't know <laughs> so I hope everyone is having a safe and wonderful um, holiday ish time <clears throat> Um, wherever you may be um, I was uh, we, we are uh, fortunate enough to get a few days off uh, here and there um, where I am at um, which is good because it's freaking cold outside <laughs> we've been under extreme cold warning for a few days now <clears throat> Let's see. Current temperature at three o'clock in the afternoon. Minus twenty six Celsius. And the low tonight, minus thirty five tonight Celsius, which is nearly the same in Fahrenheit. By the time you get to minus 40, it's the same in Fahrenheit as it is in Celsius, so that will give you some idea 
of our wonderful winters here in Canada, at least central Canada. Um, yeah, central, uh, the west coast is uh, getting uh, colder temperatures than usual. They're getting quite a bit of snow, actually, which is unusual for them. Would be uh, west coast of Canada is just very similar to the Seattle area in, in most respects. Here I well, here I I am. I am in central Canada, so just above um, North Dakota and Minnesota. So we get. Uh, I don't know how come this, did I take all of the milk? Nope, oh, there's still a little bit left. Um, yeah, I mean, although there. You go into South Dakota or North Dakota, and um, they're typically five to ten degrees warmer than us, where we are. Just, just the way it works. They're that much further south, I guess. Um, although they do tend to get quite a bit of snow, more snow than we do, lately. I hear my friend Mr. Rabbit Rob, they're up there in Colorado, they haven't been getting much snow at all. We've got a fair bit of snow and then usually what happens after a heavy snowfall is uh, a high pressure system comes in and the temperature drops to ungodly temperatures. <laughs> so we just stay inside and stay warm, mostly. Unless you're a brave soul that likes the outdoor winter activities and don't mind losing a finger or two to frostbite. <laughs> and here we are, the last little bit of milk. And we'll pad our bank account a little bit. And then... Um, then all we need to do, pretty much, is uh, wait for our wheat to mature. And hopefully our uh, straw will hold out that I bought until then. And then we should have enough straw for a while. Um, if not, we might have to look at... Uh, expanding some uh, into uh, buying another field at some point. Um, most of our uh, money has been going towards equipment and um, just things to, to keep things going a bit. But um, we'll see. Because remember, we used most of a, a entire crop for silage. So, um, so we kind of lost a harvest, if you could say that. But I mean, it's not really lost. I mean, we are a dairy farm, so our main objective is the cattle. And so if we take a look, uh, another mm, couple of months, and they sh we should have some little baby calves. So... We will, uh, we will see you. I'm. That's a, again. That's about it. Until maybe December. I might. There's not. We don't have a whole lot of oats to sell. Mm, yeah, oats. It's, it's like. Uh, although the price looks good now. December is really um, well, as it's. At least that's what it says. But only twenty thousand liters, so it's not going to get us a whole bunch of money. And uh, we have nothing else to sell, really. Yeah, slurry manure will be used for fertilizer. And there we go. We'll uh, we'll see you uh, when uh, it's ready for harvest. And we're back. So. Uh, we skipped ahead a bit of time here. We are January 1st, and our cows have given birth. 
as uh, as I predicted, 40 cows, 40 little baby cows. So, now, um, we could probably leave them in there for, I never even thought of that. Hmm. Now I'm rethinking the whole thing. I was going to go and move them right away. But we don't have to move them into the new uh, stables until until the the uh, Holsteins, uh, the older ones, are ready to give birth again. <laughs> well, I had this all ready to set up and ready to go. Um, <laughs> Silly me. Uh, let's, because uh, I leased this. Uh, I lost a thousand bucks. It was about a little over a thousand dollars. I'm going to uh, return that right now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, things that happen on the farm, uh, you plan and you have. I, I was just thinking a little too far ahead, I guess. Um. Because I wanted to move them into the new uh, the new cow barn right away, but uh, thinking about it a little bit more here, of course, um, there's no need to, um, and um, I'm better off just leaving them in there because there won't be any need for more space until the cows are ready to uh, to birth again. So. Now what do I do? Uh, well, how are they for food? Straw. Where well, am I going to need more straw again? That one's okay. They still have fair bit of food, and the slurry is getting pretty uh, maxed out. I might have to transfer some of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where's my handy dandy? Is that gonna? F it should fit. Just gonna shore up the straw a bit. Might as well go grab the uh, big slurry tank I have. Uh, straw, there we go. Yeah. Might as well go grab the uh, big slurry tank a uh, That's that. Uh, there we go. We can get that lowered down a little bit. We should be able to fit. in here drop some some straw bedding and yeah no problem that should hold them for a bit I'll put the other half in the other one And they all should be all happy dappy. Oh, there we go. Straw's good. Slurry, yeah. Gonna have to uh, We're gonna go grab that slurry tank. Put this back here. Grab my dolly. My dolly. My little dolly. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like Rob. No offense, Rob. You're a very unique person. If you <laughs> even end up listening to this. Which I, I understand if you don't. But, okay, so... We'll fill the slurry tank a little bit from each one uh, so they don't 
overflow because nobody wants a s liquid manure overflowing into wherever. I also have that other little slurry tank we could probably fill up if we have to, but I am hoping, um, I'm hoping that we get to harvest. Come on, there we go. And we can start using up that slurry. Because I want to, uh, I want the workers to pull the slurry out of the um, the barn, the, the slurry. I don't think it won't pull it out of the silo if I take it out and pull it out of the silo. See, this is my plan. Alright, that's the milk side, there's a slurry, so we'll fill a half a tank of slurry from here. And it looks like it's filling up pretty quick. 30, 40, 50, oh wow, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I am pretty good, at least that one lucky, really lucky time, I'm pretty good. Is it? That dolly's acting kind of funny. Alright, so how much... Oh, that didn't take out much slurry, did it? Well, we'll keep an eye on it. I might have to... Uh, I might have to store some in there. That's not a big deal. Yeah, that dolly is looking like it's... Oh, it doesn't like turning. Okay. Just like going... Oh, oh, oh. No problem. Okay, well... That was... Uh, that was a bit of an adventure. Now, what next? Um, yeah, how was our... Their good... They're pretty good for, uh, might need a little bit more TMR. Oh, they're both, it's just, they're just food. There's no more hay or grass. Oh, that's because it's, yeah, okay. I think they still have. Right, okay, so, uh, used equipment. See, I bought, yeah, th this is what's here. Nothing really special or anything I need. I still need a roller and a proper cedar, but they've nothing has come up. So, I want to look at that. Uh, yeah, what's next? Um, well, we're just keeping an eye on that slurry situation. Um, and uh, waiting for our crops. Uh, so growth oh yeah so maybe even tomorrow we'll have that uh to harvest so uh that's it that's it for this episode i think i'll keep them nice and short uh i sold some grain we got a little bit we're back up to the 262 mark uh we should start making money i hope although the cow situation um the plan is uh, let them mature, and once the uh, older cows are nearing their birth uh, time to give birth, we'll transfer all those uh, young cows into the uh, into the other barn and let them mature uh, some more, even, and uh, and then we'll have new cow new cows in the two older barns and they can sit there for a bit too again until they're ready to get birth and at that point we will think about either 
selling those and because these ones might be coming that's my thought process uh, the young cows that we've transferred into here might be get, but then again they're going to be we're missing out on all that money when we give them birth so I might I might just sell them all and then transfer them those back into here and kind of keep that cycle going I don't know any other way to keep because there's a maximum amount of cows I don't know any other way to keep that going unless I build another barn which is a possibility although it's ex pretty expensive but anyways that's my thought process for now I'm a farm guy this has been my very dairy adventure so far I do hope you enjoyed it and remember it's just a game so have fun. Till next time. Bye for now.